Hello and thanks for watching the third video on Metaboscape featuring T-Rex with a focus on 4D lipidomics. Today I'd like to talk about an example from this novel application node investigating increased lifespan in C. elegans staff 2 mutants. And I'd like to talk about how to confidently identify lipids. Lipid fragmentation is class 9 mode specific. And the challenge is that some information can be taken from positive mode MSMS fragments, like the characteristic head group fragments that are seen for phosphocholines, and in the negative mode MSMS spectra information from the fatty acid sidechain composition can be gathered. The solution to this challenge is Metaboscape, because it enables merging of data acquired in positive and negative ion mode. So the value for you is it's easy to confidently identify lipids. And this is what I would like to show you now in the software. Here we've got an example containing ESI positive mode data and ESI negative mode data. And if I want to merge them, I just select both and click on the merge bucket table button. Then I get an interface where I can test settings for matching positive and negative mode regarding the mass tolerance and retention time tolerance. And the estimate shows me in this case that more than 400 features are going to be merged by merge positive and negative mode data. It starts processing now, but let's have a look at already existing data. Here we can see that ions were merged, M plus H and M plus formic acid minus, and in this case, even more different positive and negative mode ions. Looking at the PCA, I want to concentrate on a lipid and you can see here for the M plus H, I can quickly see that this is a PC. It has a characteristic head group fragment, 184, shows the water loss fragment, 166. And in negative mode, I see the characteristic fragment ion 301 corresponding to a fatty acid 25. So this is a fast way how to identify already a lipid, but I can move on and do a more confident ID using MSMS library searching here you can see the negative mode. I get several hits from lipid blast. The first one with a low score, second one has a low score. The third one really nicely shows me, okay, I can trust this annotation. It's a PC2525. Another way how to really more deeply interrogate the data is to use the smart formula routine, which enables to automatically assign molecular formulas for the precursor ion, as we can see here. And if I extend this, it also generates formula for the fragment. In this case here, 12 fragments could be identified. And if I open this in a bigger window for checking the MSMS fragments in more detail, you can see to the far left-hand side, this is a precursor formula that was generated. And in the middle, we can see the fragment ion and the corresponding neutral losses. So this gives me another way to interrogate the data. And we can see from the precursor, we can see the losses of the fatty acid and the ketene and of both fatty acids. I can also look for the fragment ion annotation here for the 184. I see the correct assignment of the elemental composition and can say, okay, please annotate this. And you see, I also get the water loss annotated now. So this intuitive visualization really helps me to dive into this data and get confident annotations. So in summary, I hope I could show you that merging data acquired in positive and negative mode uh, enables confident ID. We have interlinked visualization for the raw data for validation at a glimpse, and we can also do a deep dive on lipid investigations. And with this, I'd like to also point to our Bruker.com and Bruker.com Metaboscape homepages where you can find more application nodes, a novel lipidomics metabolomics brochure from this year. I also like to draw your attention to a new poster book that was just um, released with many different examples. And if you did not watch the first two videos, they are also available and I recommend watching them. And with this, thanks for your attention.